AI drug research algorithm flipped to invent 40,000 biochemical weapons. We often hear about the benefits artificial intelligence can bring to medicine and healthcare through drug research, but it could also pose a threat. Researchers from Collaborations Pharmaceuticals, a North Carolina-based drug discovery company, have published a paper that highlights the dangerous potential of AI and machine learning to discover biochemical weapons. By simply tweaking a machine learning model called Megasyn to reward instead of penalize predicted toxicity, their AI was able to generate 40,000 biochemical weapons in just six hours. Worryingly, the researchers never admitted to having considered the risks of misuse involved in designing molecules. They said, the thought had never previously struck us. We were vaguely aware of security concerns around work with pathogens or toxic chemicals, but that did not relate to us. We primarily operate in a virtual setting. Our work is rooted in building machine learning models for therapeutic and toxic targets to better assist in design of new molecules for drug discovery. We have spent decades using computers and AI to improve human health, not degrade it. Even the company's work on Ebola and neurotoxins did not alert them to the damage that could be caused by flipping their models to seek out rather than avoid toxicity. The barriers to misusing machine learning models like Megasyn to design harmful molecules are lower than you might expect. Plenty of open source software has similar capabilities and the data sets that trained it are available to the public. What's more is that the 40,000 toxins were generated on a 2015 Apple Mac laptop. Of these, hundreds were found that were more lethal than the nerve agent VX. One of the most potent chemical warfare agents of the 20th century, VX uses the same mechanism to paralyze the nervous system as the Novichok nerve agent used in the 2018 Salisbury poisonings. Fortunately, actually synthesizing these potential new bioweapons is far more of a challenge than generating them on a computer. For example, the specific molecules that are needed to create VX are strictly regulated. Dangers would only arise if a toxin was found that did not require any regulated substances. While easy to figure out through another set of parameters, the researchers felt uncomfortable taking this extra step. Before publication, Collaborations Pharmaceuticals presented their findings at the Speech Laboratory, one of five labs in the world that is permanently certified by the Organization of the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons. The researchers' findings make an important case for the need to oversee AI models and fully consider the ramifications of utilizing complex AI. Artificial intelligence tests could predict effective cancer drug combinations in less than two days. Scientists have created a prototype that can predict which drug combinations are likely to work for cancer patients in as little as 24 to 48 hours. Their cutting-edge technique uses artificial intelligence to analyze large-scale protein data from tumor samples and is able to predict patients' response to drugs more accurately. Genetic analysis of tumors can reveal mutations that are fueling cancer's growth, some of which can be targeted with treatment. But genomics alone does not provide sufficiently accurate predictions to select drug combinations. Scientists at the Institute of Cancer Research in London tested the new technique on individual cancer cells in the lab and tumor cells freshly isolated from lung fluid in people with non-small cell lung cancer. Their study is published in the journal Molecular Cancer Therapeutics. Scientists carried out proteomic analysis, examining changes in 52 important proteins and how they interact with each other in response to drug treatments. Researchers then trained machine learning algorithms to define the key protein changes that predict drug responses. First, the researchers used the algorithm to predict how sensitive cells were to individual cancer drugs. They found that the technique could predict individual drug responses more accurately than genetic features, such as mutations in key genes. Researchers then used the same approach to predict sensitivity to drug combinations using 21 different two-drug combinations in lung cancer cells with different gene faults, such as mutations in EGFR and KRAS. Of 252 total drug combinations, 128 showed some level of synergy, meaning their combined effect exceeded the effect of each individual drug added together. Of these, the AI test correctly identified the top five ranked combinations 57% of the time and the top 10 ranked combinations 83% of the time. The test successfully identified combinations which have previously been shown to have promise. Researchers were also able to identify possible new combinations which the test found could potentially be effective for non-small cell lung cancer. This is therefore the first prototype test that can offer personalized predictions of which drug combinations are likely to work in different individuals. Researchers believe the new technology could be crucial in overcoming cancer evolution and treatment resistance by allowing doctors to analyze how drugs work in combination. The new study establishes proof of concept, but the test will need further validation before it can be used in patients. The study looked at seven different drugs in multiple combinations, but researchers are already planning a larger follow-up study which will test 15 drugs and look at 12,000 proteins involved in signal transduction instead of 52. The test provides proof of concept for using AI to analyze changes in the way information flows within cancer cells and make predictions about how tumors are likely to respond to combinations of drugs. 
With a rapid turnaround time of less than two days, the test has the potential to guide doctors in their judgments on which treatments are most likely to benefit individual cancer patients. It is also an important step to move forward from our current focus of using genetic mutations to predict response. The findings show that the innovative approach is feasible and makes more accurate predictions than genetic analysis for patients of non-small cell lung cancer. Before this test can enter the clinic and guide personalized treatment, for example, by carrying out a study where they run tests in patients already getting a treatment to check if the predictions are correct. One of the greatest challenges they face in cancer research and treatment is the ability of cancer to adapt, evolve, and become drug resistant. The expectation is that the future of cancer treatment will be in combining therapies to overcome resistance, but it will be required to get much better at predicting which drug combinations will work best for individual patients. This new study is a great example of interdisciplinary collaboration in integrating the understanding of cancer biology, AI, and clinical medicine to provide proof of concept for a new test that can predict which combination treatments are most likely to work for patients and could be an important step in helping to tackle drug resistance, hopefully helping to offer patients smarter, more personalized treatment options. As Russia continues its conflict in Ukraine, AIs will help Ukrainians sift through and interpret chatter from Russians. A radio transmission between several Russian soldiers in Ukraine in early March was captured from an unencrypted channel. As the soldiers spoke, an AI was listening. Their words were automatically captured, transcribed, translated, and analyzed using several artificial intelligence algorithms developed by Primer, a U.S. company that provides AI services for intelligence analysts. The use of AI systems to surveil Russia's army at scale shows the growing importance of sophisticated open source intelligence in military conflicts. But it's the use of natural language processing technology to analyze Russian military communications that is especially novel. For the Ukrainian army, making sense of intercepted communication still typically involves human analysts working away in a room somewhere, translating messages, and interpreting commands. The tool developed by Primer also shows how valuable machine learning could become for parsing intelligence information. Off-the-shelf code and APIs that use AI can now transcribe speech, identify faces, and perform other tasks, often with high accuracy. In the face of Russia's numerical and artillery advantages, intercepting communications may well be making a difference for Ukrainian troops on the ground. Primer already sells AI algorithms trained to transcribe and translate phone calls, as well as ones that can pull out key terms and phrases. Sean Gorley, Primer CEO, says the company's engineers modified these tools to carry out four new tasks. 1. To gather audio captured from web feeds that broadcast communications captured using software that emulates radio receiver hardware. 2. To remove noise, including background chatter and music. 3. To transcribe and translate Russian speech. and four, to highlight key statements relevant to the battlefield situation. 